Welcome to our channel. Today, we are sharing the story of a man who recounts his wife's experience of infidelity and betrayal. I sat in the car, watching the surveillance footage of my wife's affair with my boss, while making a phone call to her. Darling, what are you doing? I asked. My wife's voice sounded hurried. Nothing. I'm just working out, she replied. After hanging up the phone, I smirked. Since the boss dared to mess with my wife, I decided to have an affair with his wife. This way, we would be even. My name is Jim. I work as a chauffeur for the boss. Currently, I was sitting in the boss's Rolls Royce, watching the hidden cameras I had secretly installed at home through my phone. In the footage, my wife, Alice, was lying in bed with my boss. And on the bedside table, our wedding photo stood out prominently. In truth, I had already known about Alice's infidelity. But I wasn't angry or in a hurry. Don't misunderstand me, I'm not a pervert. I was simply waiting for the perfect moment to seek revenge. Speaking of which, Alice was dressed in a revealing fishnet outfit today, looking really seductive. That shy expression on her face had never been shown to me before. Through the camera, I could clearly hear their conversation. The boss asked my wife, Alice, to call out our names. Alice obediently complied, and it seemed like she was enjoying it as well. A surge of anger slowly burned within me. But I quickly suppressed it. Then, I picked up another phone and dialed Alice's number. In the video, Alice trembled all over. Stop. Quickly stop. I have a call. The boss smirked and asked, whose call, Alice struggled to grab the phone from the nightstand and immediately gestured to be quiet. It's my husband calling, the boss looked proud and disdainful. I sent that useless guy on a business trip. He won't be coming back tonight, Alice climbed out of bed, holding the phone, bowing and pleading with the boss. Please, don't make any noise. I beg you, after saying that, she answered the call. I turned off the audio from the surveillance camera recording. Hello, dear. What are you doing? I asked. Alice's voice sounded remarkably calm. If I didn't have the clear visual from the camera, it would be hard to believe she was cheating on me. Oh, I'm at home. Are you coming back tonight? She asked innocently. I chuckled coldly in my heart. Am I not clear about whether I'll be coming home tonight or not, unfortunately, it seems unlikely that I'll be able to come back. I'm currently on a sudden business trip, accompanying a major client here for an evening, and I'll be heading back early tomorrow morning, just then, on the surveillance camera footage, the boss started behaving inappropriately. My wife, Alice, shook her head vigorously while looking distressed. Through the earpiece, Alice's voice became anxious. Curiously, I asked her, what are you busy with? Why are you out of breath? Alice tightly covered her mouth with her hand. Oh, I'm doing yoga at home. Let's not talk about it for now. Otherwise, I won't be able to keep up with the rhythm of the music later. She finished speaking and abruptly hung up the phone. Immediately, I turned on the audio from the surveillance recording. Alice was punching the boss with her small fists while scolding him. What are you doing? Seriously, you almost figured it out, the boss had an evil smirk on his face. Why didn't you tell your husband the truth when he asked you, Alice bit her lip, her eyes filled with shyness. I can't say. Suddenly, the boss glared at her. No, you must tell your husband, Alice murmured something under her breath. The boss seemed angry. Damn it, speak louder, Alice immediately raised her voice and shouted. I'm being. However, before she could finish her sentence, someone tapped on my car window. I immediately turned off the surveillance camera and rolled down the car window. Outside stood an elegantly dressed Caucasian lady. At first glance, she seemed to be in her thirties or forties, with a captivating figure. Her golden hair and azure eyes made me feel somewhat mesmerized. I was taken aback. Lost in my phone, I had completely forgotten about the boss assigning me to entertain this guest. I quickly got out of the car, apologizing while opening the rear door for the lady. I'm really sorry. You must be Mrs. Lucy. I'm Jim from Goldman Sachs. 
Lucy let out a disdainful snort and impatiently got into the car. Is this how Goldman Sachs treats its VIPs, however, her haughty demeanor made me feel disgusted. But there's no other option, this is the kind of job I do, serving people. And there's an even more important reason. Recently, our company has suddenly gained overseas business, with transactions coming from South America. And everything related to the international business has been kept highly secretive by the boss. He even arranged for our boss's wife to personally receive Lucy. Based on my years of experience working with the boss, there's definitely something fishy going on. This is also the perfect opportunity for me to seek revenge. With a smile, I started the car and then explained tonight's itinerary to Lucy. Tonight, we have arranged for you to meet our CEO first. After discussing the matters, we have also arranged a five-star international hotel for you to rest. Tomorrow morning, I will return to the company headquarters, comma, Lucy snorted dismissively. Where's your boss? Why isn't he personally meeting me, comma, I couldn't tell her that our boss is currently with my wife at our home. Our boss had an urgent matter today, so he arranged for me to handle it and also to convey his apologies to you, comma, Lucy remained silent. Her blazing blue eyes scanned me from head to toe. I hope your boss has enough sincerity, comma, her words seemed inexplicable, but I didn't pay too much attention to them. It's just that her intense gaze made me feel somewhat uncomfortable. We arrived at the company's branch office, where the company's CEO, who was also our boss's wife, received Lucy. As the driver, I had to wait in the car. Bored, I opened the surveillance camera again. The moment the footage appeared, I turned red-faced. The scene was incredibly intense, to the point where it cannot be described. Of course, it was still my wife, Alice, and the boss in the footage. I quickly turned off the video and lit a cigarette. Alice and I have been married for three years. She used to be the campus beauty, and I was just one of her many pursuers. I was basically a backup plan. But later, Alice got pregnant by some unknown guy and wanted me to be her backup plan. In my reckless youth, I was willing to do anything for love. I accompanied her to have an abortion and made a lifelong commitment to her. I thought I could exchange my sincerity for love. I never expected this kind of outcome. It's only been three years, and this woman is already so impatient. It was around 9 p.m. when the boss's wife and Lucy came out together. The two ladies seemed to be chatting happily, indicating that they had already had dinner. The boss's wife personally opened the back door for Lucy and then gave me a serious instruction. You must take good care of Ms. Lucy. No matter what she asks for, you must agree to it, understand, comma, I nodded in response. We then left the branch office and headed straight to the prearranged international hotel. Sitting in the car, I could smell a strong scent of alcohol emanating from the back seat. Lucy was reclining in the back seat, her gaze extremely hazy. Her long and slender legs were directly placed in front of me, swaying back and forth in a dazzling manner. It made me feel dizzy every time I glanced at the rearview mirror, especially with those crystal clear toes peeking out of her transparent sandals, playfully wiggling. I couldn't help but sigh deeply. The hotel was magnificent, and I accompanied Lucy to the room, a spacious and luxurious presidential suite. I helped her with the luggage and turned to leave, but just as I pulled the door open, a long and slender leg kicked the door shut with a loud bang. I was taken aback. What did that mean, with comma, I turned around, and Lucy's face was almost pressed against mine. Her fiery red lips were right next to mine. I struggled to restrain myself from biting them directly. She looked at me with great interest, as if I were just a doll in her hands. I awkwardly cleared my throat. Um, Ms. Lucy, is there anything else you need to instruct me, comma, Lucy had drunk a lot with the boss's wife earlier, and her fair face was flushed. She looked even more alluring. When she didn't say anything, I quickly turned to open the door and walk out. But at that moment, she reached out and grabbed my chin. Tipping her head slightly, she gazed at me arrogantly. If you leave like this, I will tell your boss that you are an incompetent driver, comma, I paused for a moment. Incompetent? I replied. As Lucy spoke, her hot breath sprayed directly onto my face. 
It was the first time I had observed a beauty at such a close distance. To be honest, upon careful examination, they weren't as perfect as in the movies. Their facial pores were rough, and they had a lot of facial hair. Looking closely, it was all furry. They also wore a strong fragrance, and their skin wasn't as delicate as that of East Asian women. However, they were still undeniably sultry. Lucy shook her head. Incompetent. She said, using her index finger to unbutton the first button of my shirt and then putting her finger back into her mouth. I have never tasted the flavor of an East Asian man before. Now I'm going to take a shower. If you dare to leave, I'll have your boss sell you to South America, comma, after she finished speaking, she bit my lips and then turned away with a mischievous smile. Watching her hot figure, I couldn't help but gasp. What a damn femme fatale she was. But even if she went to my boss, it wouldn't matter. I didn't want to stay here. Once I heard the sound of rushing water coming from the bathroom, I turned to continue my departure. However, at that moment, Lucy's handbag was left on the table near the door. I opened it and found a corner of a document inside. This document might be related to our boss. I turned around and glanced at the blurry yet alluring figure in the bathroom mirror. Then, I quietly took out the document. With just a glance, I immediately felt a chill down my spine. It was about overseas human trafficking. I was shocked to the core. I flipped through a couple of pages, and it turned out that our boss and Lucy were secretly involved in the business of trafficking people overseas. Our boss used the domestic company as a cover to gather information about blood types and body organs, and then they would find suitable wealthy individuals overseas. Once there was a match, they would smuggle them out of the country through Lucy's connections. This time, Lucy was planning to take away a total of five people. As I reached the last page, to my horror, I saw my name and the name of the boss's wife on it. These despicable lovers actually wanted to sell both of us and live an indecent life together, comma, I panicked and immediately used my phone to take photos of every page of the document. However, just as I finished taking the photos, I heard the sound of the bathroom door opening behind me. I quickly stuffed the document back into Lucy's handbag and turned around in a fluster. Lucy, at that moment, was only wearing a bathrobe, barefoot, slowly walking towards me. In that instant, I decided not to leave. Instead, I slowly took off my coat. Miss Lucy, you are truly beautiful. I said, embracing the model-like figure of this stunning woman who stood at 1 meter 80. Her long golden hair brushed against my face. Though her long legs looked attractive, they felt rough to the touch, giving a sensation similar to an unshaved beard. And then there was the scent, very peculiar. It makes me very uncomfortable. I finally understand why white people always like to use very strong perfume, it's actually to cover up their odor. But apart from that, everything else is perfect. Especially when you dominate a beautiful woman who stands at 1 meter 80, it gives me a sense of ultimate achievement. As if I have the whole world under my feet. And then there's Lucy's hot and uninhibited personality, it really makes me linger and forget to leave. But after everything was over, I was kicked off the bed by Lucy as if I were garbage. Impatiently waving her hand, she said, you can leave now, I need to rest, damn, but it's also a good time for me to leave this place. After putting on my clothes and stepping out of the door, I immediately ran back to the car and couldn't wait to open the document again. In addition to our five profiles, the document also contained the location and time of their final transaction. I quickly glanced at it, and the location was at the city's harbor. We would be carried by a fishing boat to the vicinity of the open sea. And then there was the time. When I saw the date, my scalp tingled with fear. Only three days left. No, it's already early morning, which means there are only two days left. What should I do, if I were to report this to the police based solely on this document, it would be difficult to convince them. But I can't just stand by and watch everything unfold. Except for me and the boss's wife, the remaining three people are recent college graduates. Their photos exude youthful vigor and hope for the future. Although I can't be considered a good person, I absolutely cannot stand idly by. That night, I sat in the car and hardly slept the entire night. Countless scenarios played out in my mind. 
As dawn approached, I opened the camera in my home again. At this time, my wife Alice was already asleep, and the boss was sitting by the window smoking. They really had a whole day of fun. This pair of despicable lovers. So ruthless. The next morning, I accompanied Lucy to meet the boss's wife, and then we all returned to the city together. When we arrived at the company headquarters, the boss personally greeted us. Seeing his beaming face, the deep-seated hatred in my heart increased bit by bit. And seeing the intimate expressions between him and his wife, my disdain reached its peak. Such a self-righteous person, yet possessing such a venomous heart. Then the three of them entered the company together. As a driver, I naturally couldn't follow them inside. Afterwards, I made up an excuse and immediately took a taxi back home. Standing outside the door, I knocked while opening the camera inside the house. In the camera, my wife Alice seemed a bit flustered. But the room was as tidy as before, and you couldn't tell what had happened in the past 24 hours at all. To be honest, it would be very difficult to discern without the secretly installed camera. Who is it? I sneered and turned off the camera. Soon, my wife Alice opened the door. She seemed a bit impatient when she saw me. Aren't you on a business trip? I smiled. As soon as I entered the house, I hugged my wife Alice tightly. I missed you, so I came back early, my wife Alice pushed my hand away with disgust. Oh, why are you hugging me? We're already an old married couple. Haven't you had enough hugs? I shook my head. My gaze became intense. Lily, you look exceptionally beautiful today, before we got married, my wife Alice would blush every time she heard my compliments. Her sweet and charming expression back then, I really miss it. But now, she waved her hand dismissively. You can make something to eat yourself. I worked late last night and want to take a nap during the day, after saying that, she walked towards the bedroom. I sneered in my heart. Indeed, you worked late last night, then I followed closely behind her. My wife paused at the sound of my footsteps, showing some impatience. Just as she was about to turn around and scold me, I forcefully pushed her into the room and pinned her down on the bed. My wife Alice struggled as if she had gone mad. Let go of me, you pervert, I smirked and took off my coat, imitating the boss's tone. Why didn't you tell the truth when your husband called you, she trembled all over, her face changing drastically. But she quickly regained her composure and looked at me warily. What nonsense are you talking about? I glared at her. Then I took out my phone and played the recorded video from yesterday. After my wife Alice saw the footage on the phone, her face went from pale to dark, then from dark to purple, and finally turned ashen, like a chameleon. Fear, she suddenly struck, slapping me hard. You! How dare you secretly record me! But I wasn't in a hurry or angry. Instead, I coldly laughed and put down the phone. Then I reached out and tightly grabbed her neck. It's freaking late, and you dare to bite me back, blaming me for secretly recording you? This is my house. If I want to install a camera in my own house, do I need to inform you, my wife Alice wanted to continue struggling? But my grip became stronger and stronger. Her breathing became rapid. However, I didn't want to kill her or hurt her. I just wanted to give her a warning. I released my grip and took out another phone. I showed her the photos and videos I had taken from Lucy's place today. I'm not actually angry that you cheated and found another man. If you can't find comfort with me, we can just get a divorce. What's the big deal? But what angers me the most is that you, along with your lover, tried to sell me out, tried to kill me. The wickedness of a woman's heart knows no bounds, comma, my wife Alice widened her eyes and stared at the photos in my hand. This. How did you? Comma, I stood up and looked at her meaningfully. It seems like these people already know. So, let's make a deal, comma, then I explained my plan to her. In reality, Alice wasn't deeply involved in this matter, she only knew that our boss would secretly dispose of me. Therefore, she couldn't be charged with any crime. If she came forward voluntarily and exposed the truth now, not only would she be innocent, but she would also receive credit. After explaining, I revealed my final trump card. I've edited a video of you and your lover into a short clip. 
If you don't do as I say, your parents, family, friends, including the company, will all receive that video, and it won't be censored, comma, Alice's face turned pale with fear. Her eyes darted around, seemingly weighing the pros and cons. I seized the opportunity to press on. I'm really curious to see the expressions on your parents' faces when they discover their precious daughter is so despicable, comma, that sentence was like the last straw that broke the camel's back, completely breaking through Alice's defenses. She collapsed to her knees. I beg you, husband. I'm willing to do as you say. I'll do anything you ask. I gently lifted her chin and looked at the face I had once loved so deeply. Anything, comma, Alice was taken aback. Then I pinned her down on the bed once again. However, this time there was no emotional exchange between us. It was purely my revenge and release. The exhilaration of revenge consumed me. After it was done, I put on my clothes and walked out resolutely. As I reached the doorway, I turned back and pointed at her. This house was sold by my parents. They bought it for me, an old house in the countryside. According to the law, you have to leave with nothing. But I'll give you three days to pack up and get out. After saying that, I walked out of the house without hesitation. Once outside, I found the contact information of my boss's wife on my phone. I sent her the photos of the documents I needed from her, along with a message. I have a full set of evidence against you both. If you don't want to die, come and meet me alone. I'm in the outskirts. Comma, after sending that message, I have to admit that I was quite nervous. Who knows how my boss's wife would react after learning that her husband planned to sell her out. But a few minutes later, I received a reply from her. Wait for me, comma, finally, I drove my own car to the location where I had arranged to meet my boss's wife. It was an abandoned factory compound in the outskirts. As soon as I entered the compound, I saw her pink Mercedes parked there. She tried to open the door and get out of the car, but I forcefully pushed her onto the back seat. She looked at me in fear. How did you get this information? Besides my documents, what other evidence do you have, comma, I sneered. I have all the evidence that can incriminate both of you, comma, it was clear that my boss's wife was panicking. I still don't believe he would kill me, comma, I immediately opened the video on my phone, showing the footage of my wife Alice and her husband in my bedroom. My boss's wife instantly realized the truth. That bastard deceived me. That bastard. Comma, she yelled while trying to grab my phone, but I grabbed her by the collar. Stop pretending to be innocent. Your husband slept with my wife, so I'm going to sleep with his wife. It's called a fair exchange, comma, my boss's wife paused for a moment. I can give you money, a lot of money. Name your price and help me get rid of those two adulterers, comma, I chuckled as I leaned in, pressing my upper body onto her. Money is indeed important to me, but it is not important enough for me to betray my spouse, comma, I said that while caressing her face gently, which made her nervous. However, I also glimpsed a trace of excitement in her eyes. Turns out she was also a despicable person. We drew closer, and her breathing became increasingly rapid. My broad chest seemed to intoxicate her. Suddenly, she reached out and unbuttoned my shirt decisively, then said firmly, I can. I can agree to your terms, but you must help me get rid of that bastard and ensure it doesn't implicate me, comma, I smiled without confirming or denying. I used my fingertip to graze her nose gently. That will depend on your performance. The abandoned factory was a desolate place, rarely visited even during the day. Whether she would speak or not, my boss's wife's Mercedes had excellent shock absorption. At a critical moment, her phone suddenly rang. She looked at me in panic, her expression almost identical to my wife Alice's. I nodded with a faint smile. Answer it, comma, my boss's wife looked tense. But you mustn't speak or move recklessly. Comma, then she answered the call. It was my boss on the other end, and his voice sounded dissatisfied. Where are you? Hurry back, we're having dinner with Ms. Lucy soon, comma, my boss's wife replied anxiously, I had something to take care of. I'll be back soon. Comma, at that moment, the Mercedes started shaking again, making creaking sounds. My boss was on high alert. What's that sound? Where are you, 
comma, my boss's wife glared at me with resentment in her eyes. However, I didn't stop. Instead, I continued to savor her nervous yet excited expression. Ah, I'm driving, I'll be back soon. She hastily said before abruptly hanging up the phone. I reached out and grabbed the boss's wife by the neck. Why don't you tell your husband what you're up to, comma, her eyes widened in fear. You villain. You're so wicked. Comma, I sneered and shook my head, sternly reprimanding her. What did you say? Speak louder, I can't hear you, comma, the boss's wife trembled all over and then, as if possessed, she started shouting, I said you're a big villain. I said you're a big villain. Comma, finally. Satisfied, I got out of the car and lit a cigarette. The boss's wife hurriedly followed suit. I really have to go back, otherwise that old man will suspect me, comma, I nodded my head, and the boss's wife anxiously looked at me. So, do you have a good plan or not, comma, I slowly blew out a smoke ring? In two days, the three of us, along with three other people, will be taken to that fishing boat. I estimate they will make their move tonight, comma, the boss's wife tightly grabbed my hand. What should we do then, comma, I took a deep drag from my cigarette. Stay cool, comma, that night, inside a private room at a luxurious hotel. The boss, the boss's wife, and Lucy sat at the table. I received a call from the boss and hastily entered the room. When the boss saw me, he smiled and gestured for me to sit next to Lucy, then meaningfully said to me, Lucy has told me about the work you did for her yesterday. She's very satisfied, and tonight she specifically asked you to join us for dinner and have a few drinks with our Filipina lady, comma, I acted slightly surprised and flattered. Is that appropriate? I'm just a driver, and if I drink, I won't be able to drive, comma, the boss laughed heartily. You don't have to drive tonight, I'll arrange for someone else to do it, comma, with that, he raised his glass. Cheers to celebrate our successful collaboration, comma, the boss's wife across from me nervously watched me and didn't dare to raise her glass. I lowered my head, looking at the drink in front of me. There was a high possibility that something was wrong with it, so I didn't dare to drink it. Although I already knew their plan, I didn't choose to directly report it to the police. Just as I said before, this situation was not set in stone. If I were to report to the police in advance, not only would it alert them to our knowledge, but there was also a high chance of backlash. However, at that moment, I felt a chilling sensation on my calf. A plump, fleshy foot was pressing on my leg. I was very familiar with that foot, it belonged to Lucy. I looked at her with confusion, but she didn't look back at me, just slightly curled her lips. Then, I felt a small pill being placed into my hand. My right hand discreetly held onto the pill while my mind was clouded with confusion. Meanwhile, the boss had already downed his drink in one gulp. Seeing that none of us had touched our glasses, he grew somewhat displeased. Why aren't you drinking? Are you disrespecting me, a comma in that moment, my mind was in chaos. I hadn't expected the boss to forcefully make me drink. Lucy's foot was still on my leg, moving slowly. Wait. It seemed like she was writing something on it. Drink. Lucy used her delicate foot to write the word drink on my leg. What did that mean? Could it be that Lucy? Suddenly, Lucy burst into laughter, gazing at me with infatuation. Lynn, the little pill you used last night was very effective, I loved it, comma, damn. Was this woman being so direct, comma, but then, I realized that there was more to her words. There wasn't much I could do now. Before leaving, I had already set up the computer at home. If I didn't return to shut down the system tomorrow morning, all the evidence I possessed would immediately appear at the police station. It was a desperate move, but it was my only way out. With that in mind, I raised my glass and downed it in one gulp. The boss's eyes gleamed with excitement, and he applauded with laughter. Seems like the power of a beautiful woman is truly remarkable, comma, the boss's wife opposite me couldn't refuse either and reluctantly drank the contents of her glass. Afterwards, I found an opportunity to go to the bathroom in the private room. I wanted to examine the pill Lucy had given me. But before I could close the door, a delicate hand suddenly reached in. When I turned around, it was Lucy, Comma, was this woman crazy? There were people outside, and she dared to be in the bathroom with me. 
She rushed in and quickly closed the door behind her. Before I could ask any questions, she pressed her index finger against my lips and pulled out an Interpol identification from her pocket. I'm an undercover Interpol agent. You have to believe me, comma, I was stunned. What kind of chaotic situation was this, comma, seeing my disbelief, Lucy smirked. Did you really think such important documents would be easily obtained by you? Initially, I didn't have enough evidence, so I needed your help to force your wife, Alice, and the boss's wife to testify for us, comma, damn it. This woman even knew about my wife Alice's affair. Then Lucy took out an official document from the domestic authorities. If you don't believe my Interpol identity, you should recognize this official document, right, comma, I glanced at it, and indeed. It was authentic. It was a cross-border criminal case, and the domestic police were cooperating with Interpol's operation. My mind was slightly dazed. This should have been a plot in a TV drama, but it was actually happening right before me. I swallowed hard. What do you want me to do, comma, Lucy smiled gracefully. It's simple. The drink you just had was tampered with by them. Now, eat the pill I gave you. It will ensure that you wake up after a few hours. And then the rest will be taken care of by us. Don't worry, there will be a large police force protecting the entire process. You will be safe and sound, comma, after saying that, she even gestured with her eyes towards my chest. I gritted my teeth and immediately swallowed the blue pill. Then, with a look of preparedness for a heroic sacrifice, I prepared to push the door open and leave. But just as I stood up, Lucy pulled me back. Wait, comma, I looked at her with suspicion. Is there anything else you're hiding from me, comma, Lucy smirked? No, there isn't. At least I was truly satisfied with you last night, so before you completely lose consciousness, I wanted to. Comma, damn it. This woman was absolutely crazy. I felt like one day she would drain me completely. But this time didn't last long because the effects of the drug kicked in quickly. I blacked out and fell onto the woman's body. When I regained consciousness and opened my eyes, I found myself on a fishing boat. My hands and feet were tied up with ropes. I could hear the boss laughing. Ha, Linlin, -lin, after this, we won't be coming back. I've transferred all the company's funds, and the remaining money will be enough for us to live lavishly for the rest of our lives, comma. I discreetly opened my eyes and noticed my wife Alice cuddling up to the boss on the deck not far away. Her voice sounded nervous. Um. All right. Comma, the boss seemed puzzled. Why are you so nervous this time? Didn't I tell you that as long as Miss Lucy is here, we're safe, comma, Alice nodded cautiously and turned her head to sneak a glance at me. When she saw that I had awakened, her whole body trembled. The boss also noticed Alice's unusual behavior and walked over to me, stepping on my head with his foot. As for your useless husband, he's already matched with the overseas boss. Once we reach the high seas, he'll undergo surgery immediately. We'll take out all the usable parts from his body and throw them into the sea to feed the fish, come up then, the boss suddenly grabbed Alice, his face filled with excitement. I have a great idea. While your husband undergoes surgery, let's do it in front of him. Comma, Alice couldn't hold back anymore and shook her head frantically. Can't they treat him differently? Actually, he's. Comma, the boss burst into laughter. He's just a waste. Why don't we do it in front of him now? Come, comma, as he spoke, he started to undress. At that moment, I felt the ropes on my wrists gradually loosening. Lucy had clearly done her job. The boss had his back turned to me, and I managed to free myself from the ropes and slowly stood up. Boss, what did you say you wanted to do for us, comma, initially? The boss didn't realize what was happening. Then he turned around abruptly, looking at me in disbelief. What the hell, how did you wake up, comma, in an instant, anger surged through me, and fear turned into courage. All the grievances from these years transformed into rage, and I threw a powerful punch directly at the boss's face. The boss staggered back two steps and fell onto the deck outside the door. You see, I wasn't just the boss's driver, I was also his personal bodyguard. Dealing with him was as easy as pie. Then, I picked up a stick nearby and rained blows on the boss like a torrential rain. 
The boss wailed in agony, writhing on the ground. Help! Lucy! This guy woke up. Quickly tie him up, comma, but Lucy approached with a smile from another cabin. The boss's eyes widened in shock. You, comma, I took a step forward, stepping directly on the boss's chest and pointing the stick at his head. Wake up! Your crimes have already been exposed by the authorities. Lucy is an international criminal police officer, and she's here specifically to arrest you. As soon as my words fell, several crew members rushed towards the cabin from both sides. They were all armed with handguns and quickly forced the boss to the ground. The boss was terrified. Can't you let me go? I have money. A lot of money. No one here knows what's going on, can't you release me? I chuckled. If I let you go, what's the use of the law, comma, at that moment, the boss's wife managed to free herself from the ropes as well. Seeing the boss pinned down by me, she couldn't contain her anger and pounced on him, scratching him wildly. You shameless scumbag. You cheated on me with that vixen behind my back and even tried to sell me. I'll fight you to the end, comma, the boss's face was scratched like a cat's. Realizing he was trapped and had no chance of turning things around, the boss struggled and glared at me with intense hatred. Jim, I'll admit defeat today, but don't get too cocky. I had my way with your wife. Ha, it happened right under your wedding photos. Even if you kill me, you'll always wear that cuckold's hat, comma, I sneered and took out my phone. In fact, I had recorded the entire encounter with the boss's wife and the Mercedes that day. I slapped the boss's face with the phone. You played me, so I'll play you back. We're even now, ha, huh, comma, the boss seated with anger. Suddenly, with a burst of strength, he pushed me away. Coincidentally, his wife was right beside him. He grabbed her by the hair and cursed vehemently. You crazy woman. How dare you fucking cuckled me. Comma, Lucy and the others stood by, laughing and saying nothing. To them, it was just one criminal dealing with another. To me, it meant seeking revenge and settling the score. Before long, the fishing boat returned to the dock. The police, who had been waiting there, quickly boarded the boat and arrested the boss and his wife. They also released all the hostages. The boss's wife claimed she was innocent, but she had been involved in their previous crimes. At least, she was an accomplice. But that was their problem now. I had my own matters to attend to. In the chaotic crowd, I saw my wife Alice cowering in a corner, on the verge of collapse. Even after going through all this, she had ended up with nothing. Both of our gazes locked onto each other. Alice was on the verge of tears, taking a few steps forward, wanting to rush into my arms. Darling, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me, comma, but just then, Lucy suddenly appeared and blocked her path. Hey, since you didn't know how to cherish such a good man, don't disturb him anymore, comma, then Lucy turned around and intimately linked her arm with mine. Jim, after this mission is over, I plan to stay here and have some fun for six months. Can you accompany me, comma, I smiled and lightly flicked Lucy's nose with my finger? Sure, I love horseback riding. But before we go horseback riding, I need to take care of the divorce proceedings, comma, Lucy shrugged her shoulders at Alice. All right. I'll be waiting for you anytime, comma, thud. Alice instantly slumped to the ground, silently crying. But what use were her tears, comma, just as Lucy said, since you didn't know how to cherish it, let the past be carried away by the wind.